one of the reasons that we editors love what we do is that it's like decorating a room or designing a building or starting a fashion model or telling a story or forget about it. My point is, it's a creative process. It is you who consider the ambience of the video, list the aesthetical elements you want to use, and then hocus pocus. Your video turns into something a lot more cinematic and cool. So today I want to talk to you about two effective tools that will help you inject more visual attraction to your video, masking and track mat. Uh, sorry. As I said before, masks and track mats are two must know handy features that helps your video to stand out. So let's jump right into it to see what is what. A mask is a selected part of the clip that enables you to make some changes to it. By using a mask, you can crop and delete any object from your shot. To use masking, you need to select the clip and then open opacity from the effects control panel. You can see a rectangle, an oval, and a pan, so based on your masking intention, choose one of them. Then, you will see the mask border on the preview window and you can move it to the part you want to edit, copy, or move. But to understand what exactly you can do using a mask, I have listed some of the changes you can make by using it. Number one, omitting objects. Well, by using a mask, you can omit unwanted objects from your beloved shot and save it from it up to your trash. Even if the object is moving, you can add keyframes and set a path for the mask to follow and cover the object. But it doesn't work in all cases. Next one, isolated effect. With this feature, you can target an effect on a special part that needs it. For example, you can make it brighter or intensify the colors or blurring faces. Hey, I didn't ask you to do it on me. Next one, text interaction. That is so common in movies. If you want your text to seem like it's a part of the environment, you can create an interaction between the movement of the text and other movements in the shot, like this one. Hiding a text behind a car as it moves in front of the text. Now it's time to move to the other feature, track map. The way that track map works is that after sticking two layers on top of each other, the bottom one is your footage and the top one will be the one you want to use as a mask. Track mat has two forms, alpha mat and luma mat. Alpha mat is a layer that you add to your video to control the frame and decide which parts of the video should be visible. For example, you can add a text layer to your video and then the video will be visible only through the text, like this one. Luma Mats, on the other hand, does something even more interesting and it's kind of like creating fake lighting. When you put Luma Mats on the footage layer, it will find and choose the brightest parts of the footage and turns them transparent. This will let you fill those transparent areas with anything you fancy. Now, let's have a look at the differences between track mats and masks. Masks are single layer editing tools to apply changes to a selected part of a clip, while track mats deal with two layers to change the transparency of the main shot. You can also use track mat to do transitions and there are many creative templates like Enclumo mat or Geometric mat that gives you interesting options for transitioning. Yes, you can use masks for transitions too, but it's going to take a lot more time to do it as you need to do the transition manually, frame by frame. So, I recommend you to use these two features to spice up your project and make it look more professional. You can also use mask and track mats in After Effects and, you know, there are a lot more features in there. On the whole, using track mats and masks is a matter of creativity. So, be creative and make some new ways for yourself. That's it guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our previous videos and like us if you like the video. Thank you.